if you do bad things, right, you, you do illegal things, you do unethical things, journalists might find out and they'll want to tell people about what you've done so that people can, can judge you, right? And that's good, that's what journalism should do, should expose the, the corruption and the, 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 the bad things that people are doing. Um, but at the same time, many journalists are, are, can lie. Journalists can lie about people for, for various reasons. So they make up fake information. So it's, it's a very important thing to talk about. So defamation means to injure somebody's reputation. Um, so it's not good or bad, it's just you just injured their reputation. That's all that means. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter if you've told the truth or you lied, it's the same thing, defamation. Um, and then we have different, different things like libel and slander, and libel is for written, slander is for spoken, right? But it's all, it's all defamation in the end. Um, and to have defamation, you need to have two parts. You need to say who the person is, and you need to publish uh, the information. So you need to say, um, Joe cheated on his wife, or Joe hits his children. But you have to identify the person and it has to be published. If I say it in this room, that's slander, right? If it's published, it's even worse. If you publish it online or in a book or broadcast it or something like that, that that's even worse. Um, yeah. And every country has their own definition, their own laws about defamation, right? Um, a, station, a statement is not defamatory unless, unless its publication has caused or is likely to cause serious harm to the reputation of the claimant, right? And usually that they get financial, that they have some kind of um, a financial loss uh, from what you said about them. So the journalists have, especially journalists, but also the documentary makers and, and people like that, have to think about this when they, when they make something, right? Because this applies to any kind of journalism, and there's many different kinds of things that can be um, defamation, right? If you expose the person to hatred, ridicule, or contempt, you cause the person to be shunned or avoided, you lower the person in the estimation of right-thinking members of society, um, you disparage the person in his or her business, trade, or other profession. So you say something about somebody that defames them and it lowers their reputation, it makes it hard for them to do business, nobody wants to be friends with them anymore, right? Um, it doesn't matter if it's true or if it's false, it's still defamation. However, yeah, so how, how can you be found guilty of defamation? If you get sued for defamation, well, what will the process be? Right? You said Joe hits his children, right? Um, did you do it on purpose? Did you say this on purpose because you want to hurt Joe? But you don't have any, in, you don't have any details. You don't have any information. You don't have any data, and you've just made this a accusation against somebody. Right? Are you doing it just because you hate that person and you want to to punish? Them? Right? Then that's not good. Then you're doing it on purpose to try to hurt somebody. Right? On the other hand, it can be an accident. If I tell a journalist, Joe hits his children. And the journalist goes, oh my God, and then he writes an article, Joe hits his children, right? Um, and then the journalist finds out that the person was lying. Or somebody tells the journalist, Mike hits the children, or Mike hits the children, and then you get your notes confused, and they leave, oh, Joe, Joe hits his children. And you made some mistake with your notes, right? If it's an accident, then maybe that's okay. It's not as bad as if you do it on purpose. Okay, but at the same time, there are many defenses. If you have defamed somebody, if you have lowered their reputation, there are many things you can say to defend yourself. For example, I'm telling the truth. Here's a video of Joe hitting his children. Right, here's data, here's proof, here's evidence of this person doing this thing. So I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth. Um, for many years, actually, defamation was worse if you told the truth. If you told a lie, it's okay because this is a lie, but if you told the truth and defamed somebody, that was even worse. 
uh, and eventually people realize it, it should be the opposite. Right? If I say Joe hits his children and he does, then that's fine. Then I'm not really defaming them. Or there's other things like uh, the public's right to know or that you're making a fair comment. Right? You say, I think Joe seems like a person who hits his children. You know, it's not the same thing. Um, or as honestly uh, held opinions, right? You can say, I think Donald Trump should be in prison. You know, that's that person's opinion. You're defaming them, but it's you, just your opinion. So you can't, it's not really that bad in the end. And you'll be protected from it. Um, or it's in the public interest. So there's various defenses you can use to defend why you said what you said or why you published what you published. Um, so let me give you a couple of examples. Um, in the UK, um, a while ago, there was um, there were lots of protests against uh, the Conservative Party. Against there were lots of protests for various reasons, right? And here's a, a war. If you see the picture, there's a war memorial in London for the women of World War II. Um, and there were protests around the area, and somebody spray painted um, a very bad message on the memorial which is not good, right? <laughs> We're trying to remember the women who, who sacrificed their, their lives and their time to help the, the UK win World War II. And if you spray paint some nasty words on it, that's really disrespectful. That's really unethical behavior for you, for you to do that. Um, and Katie Hopkins is a white right-wing commentator in the UK, and she was hating, she was very, very against the protests, and she did many, she criticized lots of protesters. Um, but what she did was she accused somebody on Twitter, right? She accused this, Miss Jack Monroe, accused them of, of putting the graffiti on the memorial, right? Vandalized the memory of those who fought for your freedom. Right? She accused this person specifically of spray painting on the memorial. And that person sued her for defaming him, her, I guess this person. Um, and she, Ms. Jack Monroe sued Katie Hopkins for defamation because it lowered their reputation, it hurt their character, maybe it hurt them from getting jobs because she accused them of doing something really bad. Um, and, and they won. Ms. Jack Monroe run, won the suit and got damages of 300,000 pounds. Right? And they found that she lied on purpose to harm uh, the activists. She lied about Ms. Jack Monroe on purpose. So she did something illegal, basically. Um, another example is of Stormy Daniels and ex-President Donald Trump. Um, she went on the media and she said that she and Donald Trump had an affair while his wife was pregnant. And Trump defended himself. Trump went on Twitter and he said, a total con job. Right? So he accused her of lying. Con job is when you try to cheat someone. Um, so she sued him. Stormy Daniels sued Donald Trump for defamation for his tweet, saying that she was a, it was that she was uh, lying to people. Right? Because Donald Trump did this to try to lower her reputation so that people didn't believe her, her accusations. In the end, she lost. They said Trump's statements were his opinion. It's his opinion that she was lying. So that's fine. You can't, it's not defamation if it's your opinion about it, right? Stormy Daniels didn't get harmed. He wasn't doing it on purpose to try and harm her. She, she, he was just giving his opinion, so that's fine. So she lost uh, the suit and she ended up having to pay Donald Trump money. Here we go. Um, and this is why journalists have to be very, very, very careful when they write. And other, everybody in the media has to be very, very careful about what they say. Because you use the wrong word, you can get sued for defamation. So for example, this story from a, from a couple months ago about, about Chris Wu, right? 
Um, Brands cut ties with Chris Rue in wake of sex allegations. Right? And you see allegation, 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 right? Uh, because the journalist cannot say that he did something bad. They're saying there's allegations that he did something bad. That's all that they can say. Because if you say Chris Wu did something bad, then he can sue you for defamation. Because it's not true. We don't know. There are many allegations. There's no, it isn't a true fact that he did these things. It's just many people have alleged him of doing it, right? She, do made you allege that he did these things, right? And the China Association of Performing Arts came out and said, you legal sanctions or self-discipline punishment needs to be based on facts and not just on online revelations. Right? They kind of defended him, saying, these are just allegations, right? You have to be very careful about what you, about what you say. So that's why you, you can't say it's a revelation, you can't say it's a fact, it's just an allegation. 